Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a huge drugstore haul video. Basically, I went to Boots the other day and I picked up a lot of stuff and I haven't done a Boots haul in a really long time so I thought that I would film one for you guys today. This is the bag of stuff that I have picked up. There is a lot of stuff in here. There were quite a few bits that I needed to pick up, kind of just like essentials, and then there are a few new beauty launches and also just some new bits that I fancy picking up to try. So I'm not gonna ramble on too much for the introduction of this video because I don't want it to be too long. Um, so I'm just gonna get straight on and show you what I picked up. So I picked up a few new hair products to try. Now, as you guys know, I dyed my hair purple a little while ago and I did really like it, but I preferred it when it faded out to kind of like a gray ashy color. I feel like I fancy a little bit of a change again. I'm bored of it just being blonde and I want it a little bit lilac. So I picked up a few new products. The first one I picked up is just the Bleach London Violet Skies hair dye, which I've used before. Um, it doesn't really cling to my hair that much because I haven't got much bleach in my hair, um, especially on my roots. I haven't really got any hair dye down to about here but the rest of my hair it does give a nice little lilac tinge to it you just have to leave it on for quite a while um it's supposed to fade within two to ten washes um and yeah it's just an easy product to use if you want to switch up your hair color a bit um and it makes my hair a really nice lilac color so i'm probably going to use this one very soon um i also picked up this which is from lee stafford and it says it's called bleach blondes conditioning spray so it looks like this it's actually like a bright purple spray you spritz into your hair when it is towel dried and I believe it just kind of gives it a bit of a purpley tone to it. It's not going to actually dye your hair, it's not going to make it that purple but when I have used this stuff on it I'm going to start using this and see whether it holds the purple slash lilac in my hair for a little bit longer. Um, it's a conditioning spray that contains violet pigments designed to combat those brassy tones. Um, and it said you should use this every other time you wash your hair but I just loved the colour of it, it just looks really cool so I'm definitely going to give this one a go once I've used the Bleach London and see if it keeps the purple in my hair um, any longer or if I actually notice a difference and then the last hair product I picked up was this which is the, I can never pronounce this, Swatchkoff, Swatchkoff, I don't know but it's their Live Lightener and Twist hair dye stuff I don't really know what it is it's in the shade cool lilac so it looks like this um and basically I saw this I picked it up I really like the color that this lady's hair is on the box that is the color I want my hair ideally so I thought I'd pick it up it says it's lightening and coloring in one step lifts up to four levels gives it a pastel tone um and then I realized that it's a permanent hair color so I probably might not use this on my hair because I'm a bit scared of what colour my roots will go because they don't have any bleach on them. I'm worried they might go a bit of an orangey, funny, green possibly colour. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm going to use this but it was on the offer. I think it was like three or four pounds. So I picked it up and I might use it in the future but for now I think I'm just going to try using these two products. Okay, moving on to skincare. I've got a couple of products. The first one is just a staple for me. It's the Garnier Micellar Water because I believe it's on offer, so I picked up a new one. I always need this. I just go through it so quickly, and it's the only kind of makeup remover thing that I use, so I picked up another one of those. Um, I've then got a face mask. This is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Tis Tissue... Blah, blah, blah. Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask, um, which I have used before. I needed to pick up another one. I loved it that much. Uh, if you want to know any more about this, I'll leave a link down below to a blog post that I've written on this face mask. I loved it so much and I wanted to share with you guys what I thought about it. Um, so yeah, if you want to know any more, head over and read that, but it's basically a hydrating face mask. I then picked up these, which are the Simple Kind to Eyes Eye Makeup Remover Pads. I do usually pick up the Simple Makeup Wipes, just because they're handy and they're easy to use. Like if I'm staying over somebody's house overnight, or if I'm going away for the weekend, they're easy and quick to use. Um, so I always have those on the go. But then I saw these, and these are just like miniature ones, um, specifically designed for your eyes, to remove your eye makeup. So I thought I'd give them a go. They were pretty cheap, and yeah, I just thought I'd pick them up. I then picked up some false eyelashes. Um, I've got these ones here which are the Isla Fleur de Force Fleur Loves Lashes which you guys all know are like my all time favourite eyelashes. They're so natural looking and they're just really comfortable to wear on the eyes um, and you can use them quite a few times if you look after them as well. So I picked up those ones. 
Um, and then I also got some individual ones. These are the Isla Lash Pro Fine to Full Individuals, which again, I love. I love using individual eyelashes. I love the results that they give. Um, and these ones are really cool because they go short, medium and long, and then they kind of get fuller as you go on. So you can have a really natural look or you can apply them to look quite full on. Um, and yeah, I just ran out of individual lashes, so I needed to pick up some more. If I just want to look a little bit more done up, then I will use individuals. And then if I'm going out for the night or something, I will probably use strip lashes. Um, I've then got fake tan. I have picked up another one of my Saint Tropez instant tans. I've pretty much run out of this now. Um, I picked up my first ever tube of it quite a while ago and I've completely used it up. Uh, my sister recommended it to me and I absolutely love it. It's a wash off face and body lotion in the shade light to medium. Um, it does come out pretty dark. You've got to rub it in quite quickly um, before it kind of stains. If you can hear something weird, my cat's washing on the side. But yeah, I love this fake tan. It does wash off. It's not like um, a gradual build up one. It is like an instant wash off tan. But I have found that I actually really, really like that. And I think I prefer that to a gradual one. Um, it just is quick and easy. And if you want to look brown within like the next 20 minutes, that's fine. You can do that. Or if you're going out in a rush and you just want to quickly pop on some tan, it's really good. It doesn't streak if you get it wet. And it is just a really, really gorgeous colour. So I picked up another one of those because I literally cannot live without it. Um, I also just got a soul tan fake tanning mitt to go with it because fake tanning mitts get so gross and I needed a new one. Okay on to makeup -y bits. The first thing I picked up is this eyeshadow palette which I remember seeing on Instagram a really long time ago. I think it came out in America before it came out in the UK. I kept seeing it appear on Instagram and I really really loved the look of it and then I kind of forgot about it for a few months and I was in Boots the other day when I was buying all of this and I saw it out the corner of my eye and I was like oh my god I have to pick it up. It is the Maybelline The Rock Nudes palette. It looks like so. It's so gorgeous. You get 12 really really pretty shades in here and I feel like I will use the majority of them and yeah the palette just gets darker as you go on but you've got a gold, you've got some pretty purples, you've got pastel shades, you've got some black darker ones, a blue, a brown, a pink, just loads and loads of different colours. Um, so I picked this one up to try and I'm very very excited to give it a go and see how the pigmentation is. I then picked up one of my Collection Lasting Perfection concealers because I absolutely love this concealer. You guys know it's like my all-time favourite one. Um, I picked it up in the shade One Fair, which is my shade. It is very, very light. Um, and I just use this to cover up spots and stuff because it's good and it's cheap. Okay, last but not least, I've got two products from NYX. The first one is the Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder, which looks like so. Um, if you guys watch my channel quite regularly, you will know that I love the NYX HD Finishing Powder. I had it in the kind of solid format, um, not the loose one, which I loved. And they didn't have the same one again, so I thought I'd pick it up in powder form. Um, I'm sure it's probably going to be exactly the same, but I love this stuff. It looks amazing on camera, um, and it just really makes your skin look flawless and just completely mattified, and I love using it underneath my eyes. The other thing I picked up from NYX is one of their pigments. Now this is in the shade 09, which I believe was called Lilac. Oh no, it's called Froyo Yogurt Glaze. I believe. Um, it's basically like a really pretty lilac colour and I wanted to pick up one of these just to see how they compare to more expensive um, high-end pigments. I don't really own that many pigments but they look so gorgeous. They just look so gorgeous on the eyes and obviously they are like super pigmented and I just thought I'd invest in another one um, because I don't have any pigments in this sort of shade and I've been loving wearing lilac and kind of burgundy purple smoky eye looks at the moment so I thought that I would get a lot of wear out of this one and again I'm very excited to use it. Keep your eyes peeled for these all featuring in makeup tutorials coming up soon. That was everything I picked up in Boots recently. I really hope that you liked the video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried any of these bits or if you've been to Boots recently, let me know what you picked up. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Remember to click subscribe down below if you're not subscribed to this channel already. Um, it would make me super happy and also it will make sure that you guys never miss my videos. I post every Thursday and Sunday so keep your eyes peeled for new videos. Um, and I think that's all I've got to say. I'm going to go now. So I will see you all very soon in another video. Goodbye.